Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we are going to be creating neon rainy text or intro animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. If you don't want to create this animation from scratch, you can consider downloading it as template. So editing is pretty simple. You have all these folders over here. We'll just first of all, open up the final folder over here and it has the logo and the text version. To edit the logo or the text, you have to go to this edit bin over here and you have edit logo. So just to click on that and we have edit text as well. So editing is pretty simple. Just simply um, change the font, change the text, whatever you want to write. You can just write that over here. Then you can go to the uh, final text timeline over here and you can see that nothing has changed yet that's because we need to refresh a DaVinci Resolve and you just simply have to move the playhead and then you can see your text right over here same thing goes with the logo uh, you can change it I have just flipped it and let me just also reset the size and uh, let's say we have these changes and um, and you can just go back to the final logo comp over here and you can see the logo is uh, right inside the animation which you can export so i'm just going to set it back to the size it was before and it should be all good to go and that's pretty much it that's how easy it is to edit the template now let me show you how you can create this animation so uh, let me just close out all of these and in the blank timeline i'm going to go to effects and drag in a fusion composition and let's go to the fusion page where we will create this animation the first thing we'll do is add in a text node view this and just type in your text i'm going to type in neon and then i'm going to just increase the size and let's just make it change the font way to light and i'm going to go to shading tab and go to shading element 2 and enable that now this is a completely optional step uh, but i would like to add some border around the text so you can set the appearance to border outline and set the level to either character or you can do text as well and increase the rounded edge for this and also right, just right, right click on the viewer set the guides to uh, set the option check underlay make sure it's disabled and let's also go to the single view mode so now we can see the text more clearly and i'm actually going to go i'm going to set the level to character and have these uh, circles around every letter and i'm going to change the width and the height for this so just make it a little bit bigger and make sure that it looks um, it's in a circle shape now let's go back to the text tab over here and i'm going to increase the tracking amount so that we don't have this overlap and i'm going to go back to the shading tab and make sure we are in this element 2 over here and in under position we will change that so that our letters are in the middle of the circles over here and now if you go back you can see the text is taking a lot of space now you can go back to text tab and if you change the size reduce it you can see that it also squishes the shape of the outline which is not what we want uh, to change the size you can use the layout tab we have the size over here and you can just scale it down and it should retain the size nicely now, as for the animation, we will use follower. So right click in the text field and add in a follower modifier. And let's go to the modifiers tab and we will first of all create a opacity animation, the flickering text animation. Now I already shown this method before, so we're gonna use the same technique. Increase the delay amount, set the order to random but one by one. Go to shading tab and we will animate the opacity. Set the right click, click on modify width and set this to select the shake uh, modifier and we will reduce the smoothness and we have this flickering going on all right now i want every character to have a separate color now we can add a character level styling to this so if i go to text text over here in the follower uh, because it is not going to be accessible in the main text panel over here because we already have a modifier so to add more modifiers you have to go to the follower and then you will see other modifiers available so we can use character level styling but we are not going to use this because um, 
when we at the end uh, want to change the text it does not respect the colors that we used in character level styling so we are not going to use this we are going to go back to the shading tab over here in the follower and we will animate the red green and blue colors over here to get that random color inside of our inside uh, these letters so right click on red and modify with shake and repeat the process for green and blue as well right click modify with shake and do this for blue as well right click modify with shake now you can see that all the letters will have same color and the reason for that is because uh, all red green and blue all the colors have the same value so we want to change that uh, we will go to blue click on recede click on green click on recede again and the red one will just leave it as it is so now all the three will have uh, different values the red green and blue will have different values and we have this flickering effect and also we have a random color going on uh, cool so now we will use a texture a rain on the glass texture i'm just going to connect it to this text over here and if we take a look at this merge one this is how it's going to look now you're not able to see the rain texture and that's because it is coming in as a foreground we want this to come as a background so right click on the merge one click on swap inputs and now it will be empty and the reason for that is because this footage is just um 120 frames around 120 frames long so what we can do is uh, we can click on this and click on loop so now it will loop forever and now you can see the footage over here in the merge one we will set the apply mode to screen i can try and play with other apply modes but i think screen just works fine now we have the rain and we can see the text but it's kind of looking flat there is no flexion in these droplets which will sell the effect so to add that we will after this merge one add in a displacement click on add and we will connect the same um, rain on the glass footage and connect it to this displace now if you take a look at the displace node this is how it's going to look and now we will just increase the refraction strength I can see that we have uh, uh, the refraction on the droplets over here as you can see you can also increase the spread a little bit then what you can do is after this media in you can add in a brightness contrast and you can sort of change this high and low values to get more texture uh, into this uh, scene also click on pre-divide post multiply and just play around with these settings if uh, you don't like the look of it so yeah i think that looks great you can add in a soft glow after this search for soft glow and click on add and uh, you can see how it looks you can also use a multi-step blur click on add and uh, you should see it make sure the operation is set to glow and now we will reduce the minimum blur so we can sort of see the text over here i'm going to set this to two and i can uh, reduce the maximum blur as well i'm going to set these steps to two and then you can pretty much play with the amount of glow and then you can increase the red green and blue scale over here and sort of uh, then play around with the glow and blend as well All right cool so um you can get this nice uh, glow into your scene and just makes it look nice overall and then finally you can add camera 3d if you want to create a 3d look but if not you can just add in a transform node and just create a sort of a, a zoom in animation or you can just use a dve as well so let's just add that and animate the x property over here let me just uh, set this to uncheck high quality and motion blur i'm gonna enable proxy and then i can just set the uh, resolution to three so that i can preview it much faster so do something like this and let's just zoom in a little bit and you know create a sort of a nice um, animation into this if you want to so let's just do that and go to the end and i can just sort of uh, 
do this maybe and just animate it out as well something like this so it will have an pretty cool animation so yeah, that is pretty much it that's how you can create this uh, effect or animation inside of fusion i hope this was helpful i hope it will help you in your upcoming projects thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one